It's also got spermicidal caramel sauce. We Yay. all shotgun a surge right up our p <gasps> right now. I was scared to come on this show. I got <laughs> you should have been. <laughs> That's a deep Not cut deep. right there. Yeah. yeah, you gotta take it in the new direction. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm yeah. Merkley Fufkin. This is the Merkley Fufkin Show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not doing anything. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. One job. My Wait, first my... guest. My... <laughs> Shut the f up. My first guest. <laughs> Fresh off their uh, win at the Grammys for Best New Artist. I think that's last night's cue card, unless you're Millie Vanilli. You're not Millie Vanilli, are you? Not the last time I checked. I don't know where those guys get the energy to dance and sing at the same time. Craziness. Our first guest tonight <laughs> is Jay Leno. He's here promoting his new film, Collision Course, a.k.a. Kamikaze Detroit. I didn't know I had a second name. Had a second name, Kamikaze Detroit. I'd go they with the like first that. one. <laughs> I would have liked Kamikaze Detroit, personally. What do you have to say? Uh, He's got a lot of opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of opinions. <laughs> now, I, uh, I know I say this to every guest, oh. but this time I, I really mean it. Lean in. This movie I loved. Uh, it was a great movie. It's going to be a big success. I think in 20 years we're all going to look back. I get the feeling he's not going to say that to me. <laughs> we'll see in a bit. <laughs> all right, I hear you got a clip for us. What's this clip? Pretty self-explanatory. Madras! What a close up. <laughs> Madras! All right. That was a great clip. <laughs> explain what was going on there. I don't know what that was about. What does Maga mean? A monster? It's a monster, folks. Okay. Jay Leno, everybody. You get a chance to clean up this morning, it's kind of a hurry, you know. <laughs> Look like you in hurry every morning. <laughs> this baby is 12 years old. Oh, same age as pizza. <laughs> Wait, I don't like that you're taller than me. Oh, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> oh, this is just a screw top. Ah, that's gone forever. Hey. To my new partner. New partner. Oh, oh, you like that, huh? Very good. There we go. Here's another one. Uh, it will be out. All right, shiv is time. Banzai! Clean, Bam. Banzai! Banzai! <laughs> oh. Same age as pizza. What a day, partner. <laughs> no partner. <laughs> Hey, hey, look at you. There we go. <laughs> I was a little curious. Those photographs I saw today. I uh, hear you're Kansas City's Jay Leno. I've heard that. Because uh, unlike most comedians in Kansas City, you actually own your own car. You got a spare? Wait. You work on that, Donnie. I'm going to be uh, getting drunk over here while you work out your kinks over there. This is what my producers have stuck me with. <laughs> uh, so you work in an office, is that right? Uh, defined office, I guess. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried to fax your balls anywhere? No. Sitting around the world? You can rename the film, what do you call it? I always thought it was a prequel. Prequel to what? <laughs> well, something in the future that I know is going to happen. Well, use your goddamn crystal ball. That's how we order this, man. Yeah, how old are you? <laughs> <Google> cop <laughs> one half. What do I you always thought it was a prequel to Rush Hour. You got a bad cop, me. That's you right, got because you're Jay Leno, everybody. <laughs> Jay Leno. And then you got an Asian. A Chinese man. Give me chips. Thank you. Thank you. You got an idea for a sequel? This movie's gonna be a big hit. What are you guys gonna do? Are you gonna get Pat Marita back? Ooh. We get Jay in Japan. I Jay think that's Japan. what you do. You go, you send Jay to Japan. Yeah, he's we could, big in Japan. Yeah, we could do is some. Big in we Japan? could do some drifting. I'm big in Japan. His chin is. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> I need to know why I shouldn't put my foot up your ass. Reason very simple. Most uncomfortable position for both parties. 
This is my band leader, Donnie Cilantro, in the Cilantro 6. Really earning that paycheck, Donnie. <laughs> He's getting paid? He gets paid. I told my producers. <laughs> we can just go outside and find a homeless man, put him in front, get a dog, peanut butter in its mouth. That would be a better uh, musical ensemble. <laughs> it's true. The producers insisted on this man. I don't know why. Who, who's, who, who do you got blackmail on there, Donnie? Well, I'm somebody's son. Who's that? Producers. Okay. <laughs> All right. I wanted you to put the mic on me. What do you think I got interns for, baby? <laughs> That's an intern job. Give me this bitch. Man's got kids. Oh, God. Pour it on your crotch. <laughs> yeah. Make it look like he wet himself. Have you seen this? There's a new beer. New beer. You had one of these? I was going to ask There's you. always Anybody? a new beer. You ha yes. You're having one right now. Right now. It's Donnie delicious. Cilantro is having one. What uh, What do we have to say about this beer? Any thoughts? Oh, it tastes like beer to me. That is a yeah, glowing, yeah. glowing endorsement from Donald. He knows a beer when he, <laughs> when it hits his lips, he knows if it's beer or not. It's nothing special in my opinion. Uh, well, it does say special right yeah. here on it, that's although why, there's a Z. That's why I said nothing. Well, I noticed a little something on here. Would you read, uh, read the back of that? The bottom paragraph, that's please. Right here, the bottom, game watching, championship celebrating, and post game podcast listening. Does it say podcast listening? Yeah, right there. Can you check again? Does it say podcast there? P-O-D, asked. I believe that's a podast. <laughs> so uh, we're listening to podasts, drinking our beer with an I. They don't even know how to spell beer right. What the fuck is going on over at KC Buyer Company? Good Lord. Hey, they have the biggest pretzels I've ever seen. You like big pretzels? They're bigger than your face, they're bigger than your ass. I ordered a big old beer, and dude to give me high fives for ordering this big ass beer and drinking it, and I was like, I'm just too lazy to go out for another one. This is the most efficient way to drink beer without getting up. Efficiency, that's what drinking is all about. Cue the efficient music. <laughs> it's efficient. Come on, Donald. Read my mind. All right, our next guest. Let's get the new guest music. I hope you feel welcomed, our new, our next guest, one James Fallon. Jim, Jim, is Jim? It's me. Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I'm all right. Jimmy Fallon. All right, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Somebody's getting fired tonight. <laughs> so your band really just cracks me up. I know I say this to every guest. But I mean I'm it sure this time. I really mean it this time. Your film, I loved it. It's great. I know it's going to be a big hit. We look back in 20 years, we're going to say, this is the film, put him on the map. It puts me on any map, I would be happy. Maybe this with film Ogdenville. was a travesty. Ogdenville. I could not wait to get off the God set. And you can tell it from oh, every scene I'm, I'm in. Proud of, I'm proud to Oh, What's on the map? Ogdenville? North Haverbrook? Any town with a monorail. 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 We haven't talked about your film. What's your film? What are you promoting? I play a cop in the movie titled Taxi. Taxi is the film. Now, I have a fun fact. The screenwriter worked as a taxi driver to prepare for the role. Aww. Interestingly, though, he's been working as a taxi driver for 20 years after the film came out. Yeah. Right. Really dedicated. Really dedicated, <laughs> that man is. What year is it right now? This movie's coming out soon. It's 2004. It is the year 2004. You get on the internet? Do you ever do that? You ever uh, get on that internet? Sometimes I log on to my <laughs> AOL. <laughs> the AOL, that's interesting. What's that? I don't know what that is. I just get these free CDs in the mail and I use it to log on to the internet. <laughs> interesting. CDs in the sometimes mail. Sometimes I go to the public library. Ah, oh, CDs in the mail. And I log on to the internet wow. and they catch me masturbating at the computer. Yeah, my, my staff keeps wanting me to get on this electronic mail. I, I think that's for pedophiles, personally. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the pedophile theme song? <laughs> Don, Donnie's all over the pedophile theme song. Oh, Donald, we know what show you're going to end up on here soon. Did I spill some beer? So what's your uh, AOL uh, screen name? Instant, your aim handle. What's your aim handle? So in this film, 
my film. Taxi. The one I'm in. Taxi. It's called Taxi. Uh, Giselle Bunchen is the villain. I thought that was interesting. Who did the casting? Tom I... Brady's divorce lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was interesting. They gave her no backstory. I would have gave her a backstory. Is that the butt song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? That sounds like a, a Mario something? Yeah, that's when Mario finishes on someone's back. <laughs> <laughs> I am not really Italian. What? I'm gonna need you to pop the trunk for me. Anyway, Jimmy Fallon, you're in the, you're not Jimmy Fallon, I'm talking I'm about. Jimmy Fallon. I'm seeing two Jimmy Fallons. It turns out, uh, in the, you're in the news a lot lately, because there's a bug in our studio. <laughs> My producer decided to put an enormous fucking plant instead of a cityscape. Most people do the fake cityscape. It attracts cities. exotic bugs. We went with giant fuck off plant. I think it eats people. It turns out you're in the news a lot lately, and uh, it turns out you're a real drunk asshole all the time. Do you care to elaborate? Uh, if I remembered, I would. All right, right from the horse's mouth. He can't remember being an asshole, so that's how you know he's a good guy. Uh, do you have a clip to set up? I think you have a clip to set up. This is something I blacked out during, so. <laughs> this will be the first time all of us see it. Yeah, you're supposed to say it's self-explanatory. It's self-explanatory. All right, self-explanatory clip. I once hit a man in Dearborn, Michigan. Hit and run. I hit him. Kept on going. I don't know if he's alive or dead. I'm sorry. Not a day goes by that I don't see his face. Wait a second. <laughs> so did you run over to uh, Pat Morita? Yeah, I'm so glad it's finally recognized that these movies overlapped. I was in both films. You ran over Pat Morita in Dearborn, Michigan. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Comes another clap. All right, well, mirror's checked. Can see back, can see well, side. Maybe, maybe. Ah! Maybe. I got it, dude, I got it, man. Hand signal, because I'm coming out. Rock and roll, dude! Yeah! What's it like having uh, worse comedic timing than an airbag? Oh. That parrot owed me money. What did you think of my, my zinger I, I just zinged you with? Do you like that zinger? Yeah, uh, I will admit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you like that. Thanks, Jeff. I was uh, wondering when I watched the film, when does Danny DeVito show up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I keep you around, Donald. <laughs> he's in the trunk in most scenes. Oh, so he's, he's off screen. <laughs> Let's say it's a big hit and you need a sequel. Do you have a pitch? Do you have an idea? Jay, we're sending Jay Leno to Japan. What's Jimmy Fallon doing with Queen Latifah? Not a rap album, that's for sure. Are we sure? Yeah. Oh, did that happen? Go to the clip. No, I didn't, I didn't happen. <laughs> Come on, give me a sequel. You got a sequel idea to Taxi? Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Or Donald, he's a big idea guy. So, it's almost like a crossover with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, need, I need another sentence there, Donald. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Taxi Driver. Mm. All right, let's go. Time to go to commercial. Donald, play us out the commercial. Search the soda that crushes your hooves like hell when he makes you think it definitely doesn't make your penis shrink. We're back from commercial. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. You're saying Surge doesn't make your penis smaller. Our, Everyone I know believes Our fine so. <laughs> advertisers want you to shut up. That was the and one thing I heard. And then it makes green. Why did it go off the market if it up. didn't make your penis smaller? Oh. Surge makes your penis smaller? That's why it went off the market. If I squirted up my butt, does it work backwards? 
Makes your butthole bigger? Make your brain No, smaller? make the penis bigger. You go the other direction through the hole. If you do enterorectogestion. <laughs> for reverse <laughs> osmosis. Does it make the penis grow? Is my question. Uh, no. For, for my friend who has a small penis. Not really I think big. it makes your rectum <laughs> tighter. For your small penis boyfriend. Are you, are you impugning the sexuality of Berkeley Fufkin? I'm saying it do I without need to, impunity do I because need to it doesn't make you Chad more or less of a man. Wait, Chad wait, wait, and Quiver right. ready to go wait. right here. Let's all solve this right Jay now. Jay Leno, you can you can fuck off. We will shotgun, Jay, we Jay will shotgun a surge right up our pee holes right now. <laughs> I've heard sounding is fun. Are you guys into sounding? Oh, Only yeah. docking for me. Docking? What's docking? Oh, I can't explain that on one local television. Yes. Can you do sounding and docking simultaneously? I don't know what you're sounding. Tell them no. what sounding is. I'm going to pull up a clip. So you guys are both here promoting buddy cop films. Uh, I, want, I want some other buddy cop ideas. You got any other mashups? Donald, maybe you could think of a buddy cop mashup. Well, as a you know, staunch advocate for the Police Academy films, uh, there needs to be some new spin-offs off that. So you want a guy who makes uh, noises with his mouth? He's, I should get that guy instead of you. We don't, we don't need all the equipment. I got an idea. All right. We get a Korean guy and a Mexican lady. All right. And we call it Kimchi Taco Tuesday. I think Taco Tuesday is copyrighted. Well, yeah. they, can, they can fuck right off. By who? <laughs> By who? Hyman Broth. Hyman Broth. You know Hyman Broth? Right. She hosts the, the show after ours, the, the really too late show. That's Hyman Broth. Yeah. That's way late. Way I'm late. ready for yeah. that. Way late. Hyman Broth. Uh, Taco Tuesday. The hot girl is named Tuesday. They bend her over, they have sex, she's the taco. <laughs> what do you guys think you're doing up there? What the? All right, we're back to Collision Course. We're talking Collision Course. What was the pitch for the film? Me being Jay Leno. Right, because this is yeah. Jay Leno, yeah, everybody. me being Jay Leno. Jay, Jay is Jay, Leno. James? Can I call you James? I, I honestly... There's two James. I'm just calling everybody James tonight. <laughs> what do you think about that, James Cilantro? S sucks. Okay. <laughs> that movie tonight, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, it was terrible. For me, it just harkens of that time of oh, movie it's making. It's horrible. No love interest in the film other than Pat? Marie? Well, no, no, failure. There's this cop that he asked for the number of. I think you just ask, berate, sexually harass women and ask for their home number. This happens like four times. License and registration, please. Nice going, teenagers. I'm working on a bus for six months, and you two come along and just screw it up. We're sorry, Officer Costas. Hey, sorry, tell it to the feds. You know, I ought to run you two in. Uh, give me a badge number. I'm going to take care of this. Give me your home sure, phone, just in case um, I need it. Five, five, five. Engine, an F-body jet. Miss, miss, police officer. You know you're kind of busy now. Listen, uh, why don't you give me your home number? I'll give you a call later in the week. We can get together then. Under the hood is one of the most sophisticated engines offered in any sports car today. There's no love interest. You just like berate women for their home number. I just love my yeah. cars, I you guess. You try to violate their civil liberties. I think Pat Morita and Jay Leno is the real love interest there. And I yeah. think this is a metaphorical gay film where Jay <laughs> wants Pat to come out of the closet, come into the light. Pat doesn't want to. And that's what the film is really about. And I've got a clip for that. Oh. He sets him up. Yummy. Whew. There's really a blast all over. Hey, hey, with the monkeys. Get up, get up, get up, come on. <laughs> Keeps kicking him in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I thought you didn't know karate. Karate, yeah. You with me on my, my interpretation of the film? He does say, hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Whose most famous film is? Head. That's right. Because then later they could say, from the people who gave you head. They made, that's right. They made a film. <laughs> they made a film. Jack Nicholson wrote that film. Wasn't yeah. in it. I know. Oh. Bold choice there by the producers. Jack, There's a Roger Jack, Coleman project, let's right? Let's get Jack Nicholson. <laughs> he can write it. He, we don't want him in front of the camera. So is this a secret gay movie? This is about gay stuff? Coming uh, out of the closet? Getting into the light? I didn't feel gay in the movie. Uh, <laughs> Jay Leto. 
<laughs> I don't know, it's funny. I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> You can't get that station. Why not? That's a black station. <laughs> <laughs> It's a radio station only black radios get. Mm -hmm. So here's my question. What frequency is that? What's the black frequency that white people can't hear? Dub. Okay. <laughs> Ernie Hudson's in the film. I love him in the Ghostbusters franchise. Mm -hmm. He's, a, he's gonna team up with Jay Leno. And then you guys are like, nah, fuck off, Ernie Hudson. Get out of this movie. We need Pat Morita in here. How did Ernie Hudson take that? He might have got mad from the wife comment, but I don't know. What did you say about his wife? Yeah. Would you say about his wife? Well, it was so quiet on the film. I, I don't want to I, it I, I put, pulled it back. Mm. Yeah. We I have all you buttons. We have all you buttons, Jay. She is a nice piece of ass. If I lose my pension, the wife and kids move in with you. Hey, that's okay. Your wife's a piece of ass. Hey, man, cut that shit off. That's my wife you're talking about. <laughs> the film, there's a really cool rocket gun. The bad guys use a rocket mm -hmm. gun. Mm -hmm. That plays a big role in the in the plot, right? How does that impact the plot? Blows people up. Okay. <laughs> really, it really mattered a lot that they had a cool gun. I thought that added a lot. It's hard to trace that really rare gun no one has. It's really hard to trace. <laughs> it's almost like that old Hitchcockian term, the MacGuffin. What, McMuffin? What? McMuffin. All right, I think we got another clip. You want to set this clip up? Uh, I think it's pretty self explanatory. Self explanatory, let's do it. <laughs> This is where I got this fall. Banzai! 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 Oh, yep, here we go. Banzai! 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 All right, so this film is uh, really important in Japanese-American relations. Oh. It's making it uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> no. You got, any, you got anything to oh, say wait. about uh, the uh, Japanese culture? We really promoted it in this film. What do you got to say? Jimmy? Anyway, Japanese-American relations. We're going to demonstrate in the in this clip. Oh, please don't. These, the oh, great... is it just someone saying Jap like 30 times? <laughs> no, it's not that. Please don't. Just hold anybody that looks different. You know, I ought to stir-fry your face. Karate there. Karate there. And they said, told you over here to investigate. Ryerson and Dingman are in there playing Kabuki theater with Madame Butterfly. I want to know everything this guy does. <laughs> God, Madame Butterfly wow. is about Vietnam. Montage of racism. Got that one. All right. I have a question for you, Jay. That, Leno. What? That was it? Yeah, there was that way more. That montage could be five times as long. I was scared to come on this show. I got a clip. <laughs> you should have okay, I got another clip. What's that? Were they out of large flashlights and you had to get a small one? What was up there? How many fucking D batteries are in that thing? Can you use it for sounding? Here's the That's thing. That's the sound of a flashlight going up your pee hole. Yeah. That's right. It's good for That's providing That's why I keep you around, Donald. You really get me. At times of my need, you know, I really need a sound effect. He, he comes through. It's good for providing light and infringing on people's civil liberties. Interesting. True. You want to elaborate on that? No? Okay, moving on. So this film, Collision Course, was purchased by Carol Co. You guys know Carol Co? That's right. <laughs> they made James Cameron movies. Terminator 2 is a Carol Co. film. They ran, your production company ran out of money. They oh. couldn't put it out, so they sold it to Carol Co. News to me, I got my paycheck. Oh, that's right. Carol Co. at the same time was putting out Red Heat, the Jim Belushi, Arnold Schwarzenegger, buddy cop movie. Arnold is a Russian. So they could bury Collision Course. Cause they're like, oh, this is competition, a different buddy cop movie, a different Asian, an Asian coming over, working with a Chicago slash Detroit cop. 
and they buried it. It's I'm not surprised. good. Okay. Not good. He so he's playing a Russian with his Austrian accent. Yeah, that makes. So he doesn't he doesn't sense. talk a lot, and when he does, pretty hard to understand. It's Austrian. Now I, <laughs> you look sure. on the IMDb trivia, and uh -huh. one of the trivia facts it's uh, hilarious, and it's like when Arnold Schwarzenegger is speaking in Russian, it's hard to understand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh really? <shit>. Really? <laughs> oh man. Pashli, self meste. So anyway, they buried Collision Course because they thought it would like hurt red heat until 92 and they put it out on video only. Oh. I want to know what you think Pat Morita was doing before he was in uh, Hollywood. What did he do uh, before he got into comedy? Which, uh, fun fact, before acting, he was a comedian. J Jimmy Fallon, I have a question for you, Jimmy Fallon. Got an answer for you. What did, Pat Morita, what did Pat Morita do before he got into Hollywood? I mean, his comedic timing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Better than yours? That's right. <laughs> I agree. Well, his comedic timing, edited, is better than my comedic timing, edited. You have to worry about the editor. Who edited Who's the uh, editing uh, this uh, shit? Uh, uh, uh. I know who is Who's editing, editing this shit, shit later. that I am in. Uh, recording me, Pete. He worked on the Polaris and Titan intercontinental ballistic missiles. His mentor in comedy was Red Fox. I can see that. I can see that. Because the entire time- We don't need to hear any of this. This is fine. <laughs> the entire time I was watching this movie, the comedic intro music that kept popping into my head was Yep, that's exactly how it sounds. Thanks, <laughs> Donald. I got something for you to read. Oh, Vic Damone. Is he the one who's on Star Trek? Do you Keep space going. Nine? I don't fucking know. That sounds like a comedian. Uh, Marita used the nickname. And he's known in the wonderful world of showbiz as the Hip Nip. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're not supposed to say that anymore. That is such an old racist term. I forgot it was an old racist term. That's why I made you say it. Guy, guy says, oh, if you card, why you not talk card? So I said, I saw there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he tricked me. Where are my interns at? I need more drinks. <laughs> he tricked me. He didn't trick you. I used a racial slur on the internet. All right, so, uh... <laughs> I ate my watermelon with chopsticks, oh, bitch. <laughs> what are we going for in there? What's going on? I'm going to use the rest of your ancho radius. The rest of? Ancho? Yeah. You're going to drink 15 shots? of poblano <laughs> liqueur. That's a, that's a choice. No, I will put it on ice. It doesn't taste spicy to me. Well, you want habanero bourbon? I got habanero bourbon that I made. Where's your habanero bourbon? How hot is spice? So here's a fun fact. If you take spicy peppers and you soak them in alcohol. Oh, wow, it smells. You end up with mild peppers and spicy as fuck alcohol. Let's see what we got. I use that for a uh, bloody- Ready for a bonsai? No. That's a real bonsai. Oh, oh, oh. I use that for uh, uh, Bloody Marys. Oh, you want some? Give me a little bit in there. Let's mix it with my shit. Oh, why do we keep doing this? <laughs> Pour it on his crotch. <laughs> What's the problem? You can get some fucking habanero bourbon on your crotch? <laughs> is your wife gonna get mad? Why is your crotch spicy? <laughs> Jeff, no, Jeff did it again. <laughs> I, I think you mean Berkeley Fuskin did it again. Oh, oh, yeah. Bonsai! 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 Bonsai. Nameless. Woo! Oh, that's spicy. We're gonna, oh, shit. Man. We're gonna save that one for later. Woo! I don't like that. I told you that's oh, hot. Whoa! <laughs> I took the cheapest bourbon I had. <laughs> I soaked shit it in habaneros. Shit! I didn't expect was this? It was your idea. <laughs> it was my idea. All right, I got, I got a clip. Now that we're all spicy, let's go to the clip. Perhaps I can help you, Mr. Uh... Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Why don't I get your number and we'll get back to you. Uh, Dwayne, is it okay if I call you Dwayne? Yes. No way! That's right, Pat Morita's alter ego is Dwayne <laughs> Johnson. Dwayne. I found that's that quite interesting that in 1989, because yeah. that's a new name I've never heard before. Rock, yeah. Give a comment. So The Rock wrestled under his own name. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Before he was The Rock. Did he really? No, he went through one or two personas before he... Oh, damn. Are you spicing it? Are you spicing it up? I haven't done it Are yet. you sipping it? <laughs> no. You haven't even tried it yet. <laughs> what? You didn't do it? Well, I wasn't ready. You, you... He wasn't ready for Someone this. Someone said bonsai. I don't think you're ready for this. We all said bonsai. Bonsai! Yeah, it's gonna go. be hot. Oh, it's gonna be hot. 
Everybody look at him. Look at him. It's truly spicy. Mm. That's like no fun, but all hot. That's all business. Spice level it's compared like, to the Taco Bell sauce. What do you got? Diablo? It's hotter than Diablo. Hotter than Diablo. So, uh, do you remember the elevator chase sequence? <laughs> Straight out of True Lies, I thought. Yeah. I, they looked like there no horse. horse. There's but, no horse. There's yeah. No, but they, it was I similar. It, it was sorry. similar. You did. You did. <laughs> it was similar. You're the bigger True Lies fan than me. I think these are like the same fucking elevators. They look identical. They look really close. <laughs> I bet. And then in Somewhere your film, was True Lies filmed in Detroit? Uh, guessing. What is, is that accurate, Mr. J. Leno? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Merkley fucking <laughs> never muffs a line. He fucks them. Ah. Get it right. Get he, it right. he fucks lines. Did James Cameron rip off this idea for true lies? Okay. No. Hot takes. In your film, Taxi, we got a cop who can't drive. That's you. Yeah. You're terrible at driving, so you need a taxi driver. And my thought was, why don't they make him a horse cop? Which makes me think, true lies, where Arnold is like, my horse is getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would have taken more effort in the chase scenes than they wanted to apply. Because those chase scenes in your film? They applied no effort. Awful. They have a very articulate bar fight sequence. Mm, We've got some this. Detroit auto workers who are like, we hate Japanese people because Toyotas are taking our jobs. But then they're like, the trade deficit, they're very articulate. Was that you, Jay Leno? You were like, you know what? No, These they're... Detroit auto workers, let's make them sound smart. Oh no, when you guys gonna do something about the balance of trade? Yeah. You know, you brought those heavy tariffs on yourselves by dumping underpriced computer chips on the market. Japan is a very small country. And we only do what we can to compete in world market. Compare you think this is 60 minutes? Come what on. What do you mean by 60 minutes? Hey. Oh. Oh, 60 Minutes is a popular news and entertainment you program. Shut they cut me out of this scene. I thought I would have added something very nice. You were you're in that scene a lot. No. <laughs> you started talking about moose? Yeah, I didn't, moose I didn't, in hair? I didn't moose have any hair. <laughs> you're falling through a moose lot of trellis in that scene. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. Yeah. Every American should be an ambassador of goodwill. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. And you, how do you expect to improve the relations with other nations if you show them no respect? Right. You know, the trouble with you is you got too much moose in your hair. Moose in the hair? It's a popular styling solution. I mean, you could have cut my scene, weird bar scene, into your other scene of... <laughs> You're trying to trim the movie down? You're trying to trim yourself out of this movie. <laughs> How can I cut more of this movie out so I get hit less? Let me think. <laughs> Anyway, uh, in this uh, bar fight, we've got one Mike Starr. Yeah, but you, you can't compare. Who's the spicy guy in uh, Dumb and Dumber? It's not so bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's more tingly than hot. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Uh huh. <laughs> and the guy? That's Mike Starr. Mike Starr. Enjoy your meal, guys. <laughs> He's in his movie. No, in the that's they go to a movie. bowling alley. <laughs> oh, it's my movie. They're in a bowling alley. You're Jay Leno. <laughs> You're Jay Leno. He's also in Uncle Buck Ooh. as Pooter the Clown. Oh, Pooter. That's Pooter's music. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Buck fans? Well, whoever yes. you're talking I've seen about, Uncle Buck. whoever you're talking about is also in his movie. Why? What do you think? They look exactly alike. I'll go to the tape. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is the, uh, what's the name of the car company that's the key car company in your film? Yep. She went to, she went to, that's right. she went to, he remembers. Chevrolet? She, she went to she, Chevrolet? It's he went to, not she went to. Because oh. the man's getting the engagement well, right sometimes now. a girl's got to buy her own goddamn Okay, but well, that's not what they say in the commercials. Because he went to Jared. Oh. Well, sometimes she's got to go. I don't know. My wife proposed to me, so. 
in a car <laughs> in Iowa in Toyota? because of the implication. Anyway, so the car is the Jared Starburst. Hmm. Quite a car. I don't That's a great that. name. <laughs> you started a car company. What would you call it? Topless. Topless? What's the car model, though? Topless. So the topless topless? Yeah. I can tell you mine, everybody, which was I was going to start a car company. We were call it Jeremy. And the car was called the Nerd Rope. The Nerd Rope? Tough crowd. Yeah, Tough no crowd. I would go with like the Hamster X5. Ooh, the X5. I like that. Powered yeah. entirely yeah. by hamsters. Yeah. Five of them. Yeah. Five. Five cylinders. <laughs> One for each wheel. <laughs> that's, that's right. Each wheel's got a hamster in it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's good. You got an extra one just in case. Yeah, where's the fifth one? Yeah, in the truck. <laughs> in the truck. Yeah. It's in the middle. It's powering the battery. The you battery just got to keep a lot of top pellets, top. you know? You're a big Formula One guy? I know yeah. you are, Jay. TT. Well, you know how they charge up the battery for the button, the boost button? It's an MGUH for a hamster. Mm. Motor, generator, unit, hamster. Is that why Formula One's in my movie? Yep. No, I don't think those are Formula <laughs> One cars. I think those are fucking Indy cars. Yeah, that's this. Yeah. Those yeah. are not Formula the One Detroit cars. The Detroit Grand Prix at uh, Belle Isle. I mean, both movies ended with weird car scenes. Weird Indy, weird NASCAR. Weird or entertaining? What was weird about the NASCAR? Ooh. I mean, the, the, the cameo was just a little awkward. You didn't like Jeff Gordon? Not a Jeff Gordon guy. <laughs> no. You're more of a Jimmy Johnson? Well, I'm not a Queen Latifah guy either. I oh. don't like Queen Latifah. So the uh, plot revolves around a prototype. Oh. Of what? A prototype? We're still on your movie. We're don't still look talking at me. about your movie. I haven't gotten that movie, movie yet. We're yeah, still on your movie. I'm confused here. There's so many prototypes this running around. Film. It's a titanium supercharger. Yeah. This Run film around. revolves entirely around a MacGuffin that's a prototype Japanese. Turbocharger. Oh, yes. Turbocharger. Because yes. that's the future of automotion. Yes, turbochargers. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh, man. Not electric cars. Maybe Japan's inventing electric cars because they know the electricity stuff better than we do. And they're going to make Maybe. Detroit totally, uh, what do you call it, obsolete. So then. Not with this guy. No, it's just Pat about Marita. compressing Shut air. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Pat Morita's coming over. To, st to steal back the prototype. And Jay Leno, Detroit cop, is like, hey, I can help the Japanese cop, but it'll fuck Detroit. Or I can help Detroit with, hey, we'll keep this electric Which car prototype thing. And maybe that'll help America. And he gets a moral dilemma. An interesting thing to have in a film, but no, it's a turbocharger. And he's like, ah, oh, fuck America. We'll just give that <laughs> back to Japan. Cause turbochargers are the future. That's right. <laughs> Are they? Okay. Ending on that guy Scully. This guy's done everything but rape Bambi. So, this guy's done everything but rape Bambi. What's the one thing that's just short of raping Bambi? My parents hunt deer, so I'll give you the lowdown. Whoa. Do they rape the deer? <laughs> no. First you hear the deer. Do they seduce the deer? Then you shoot the deer. And then you track the deer. And then you skin the deer. And then you dress the deer. No. And then you process the deer. At no point do you fuck the deer against its will. <laughs> murder, the, murder the deer? Click. Okay, your turn. Oh, is this a deer hunter reference? We're doing a deer hunter, baby. Yeah, John Foreman. Hey, I at least went to Brokeback Mountain in theater with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> that I did not have any sort of contact with later. <laughs> and anyway, Tell I want to hear about fun. this. Is this the first date? What's going on? Oh, no, we were just friends. Because you went to see Rural Cork Mountain. Doing the, yeah. Did you it, see that? See Rural Cork Mountain. See Rural Cork Mountain. Those shots are catching up. You can take off. I want to keep going now because uh, I'm going to get too drunk at a certain point. So I'm trying. I, this is a race against time. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we're on a collision course. With a taxi to take this fucker home. <laughs> the cat spot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. great. I will do this <clears throat> laying down. So anyway, Tom the Noonan is in the film. He's the bad guy. My bald, favorite. The My bald favorite. bad guy. He's in Manhunter. The tall, he's, skinny one. He's in Heat. You got all that information's in the air. It's in the sky. You just got to know how to grab it. I know how to grab it. And then they basically made that character into uh, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 5, Tom Noonan. Everybody, you guys, let's drink.
And you he, should point everyone towards Manhunter. And I'm glad he didn't blow up in that movie. Speaking of blowing up, oh. uh, watermelon. <laughs> Tom Noonan. Watermelon gore. I got the plans for the turbocharger. I'm gonna wrap it around a rock and throw him out. You'll be a hero to Jared. Look, here it comes. Good faith and all that. I, I know you're basically a pretty decent guy. Speaking of watermelon, we got watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Let's should shoot. we put a firecracker in it? There we Jeepers go. We got a new Christmas. guest. We got a new guest on the Christmas. show. This is Freya. You can adopt her. You can have her. Nobody wants it. Two hundred fifty dollars because she's a puppy. Look at those sharp teeth. She still qualifies oh. as a puppy. I think I'm not sure what the cutoff is. Maybe a year. She produces Christmas. Once they're elderly, they're like real cheap. She's the fucking Swedish. Dogs and uh, yeah, women. Same. You know same who situation. controls that? Look at the her. Saudis. Look at her. Give me good kisses. No, give me, give me kisses. Who controls the price of people? I can't. Hey, what's your name? My music guy, Donald. Give me some music. Where is he at? He's on a truck break. Oh, take my glasses. Donald, take my glasses. Oh, oh no. Guy. My glasses. Oh, oh. glass. So watermelon oh. gore. Do you guys remember the watermelon gore? Oh my! One of my favorite movies is Watermelon Man. It's, it's a, such a good it's movie. A black guy in white face. Because and it's uh, a searing condemnation of society. This sounds like a fun film. We should all see. Here's a fun fact about me, Merkley Fufkin. Mm. Uh, you name a film, I'll tell you what year it came out. Go ahead. Out cold. I don't know that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon Man. That's name why, a film that's why I was stumped. That eighty percent of people have heard of. Chum Scrubber. I mean, nineteen eighty nine. <laughs> no, no, wait. Uh, uh, 2005? I think no, that's you know, more accurate. You know that's more accurate. I remember this film now. I was thinking Chud at first. No. But oh, Chum I Scrubbers. love Chud. And Chud has actually a really good sequel. I'm really bad at names. And that's Chud 2. Uh, what did I say for Chum Scrubber? 2005, everybody. Chums, the Chum I told, Scrubber. I told Robin Hood Men in Tights. 1993? Checking it out. Packer. 1998. Robin Hood was uh, 93. Pecker, I believe. Oh, it doesn't even come up. <laughs> Pecker film. <laughs> what, came, what came up for Pecker? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Did you just Google image search it? Pecker. <laughs> I just typed in Pecker. 1998. Is that what you said? That's what I said, baby. Okay. So yeah. there's like watermelons flying everywhere. That was fun. Wait, is this my movie again? Yeah, we're okay. still on your movie. We're God still on it. your movie. The old grenade wrapped Because your in movie paper was trick. entertaining. <laughs> it was. That's right. It was I've fun. never heard of that one. Actually. Hey, we're gonna throw out a rock. But my favorite goon fell yeah. for it. That was kind of Tom Noonan. Yeah. Noonan the goonin. Tom Noonan the goomba. I'm limited right here. <laughs> Catching great. <laughs> <laughs> At uh, one hour, 22 minutes and 45 seconds, some guy gets shot in the dick. Care to comment? Love that part. Do you love the shot in the <laughs> dick part? I hate this part of the business. Hey, take off! Back off! Your friend's gonna get it! I'm not kidding! I'm, I'm curious about uh, planting all those squibs because somebody was like, you know where we should put a squib? That's <laughs> right over his That dick. was impromptu, actually. <laughs> oh, we improv that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Tell me more about uh, the set. Well, I, just got, uh, I just asked the guy on the side, can I just slip one in there? <laughs> <laughs> and it just happened. Jay, you got shot in the film. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> Anybody else remember Jay Leto getting shot in this yeah. film? Everybody else remembers. So let's go to the clip. Look, now we're going to be shooting at some targets that, that I have. Is this the Hunter S. Thompson? Shut the fuck up, Donnie. Look how he runs. <laughs> oh, see, you got oh, shot. Oh, oh, that's great. That was fucking great. <laughs> 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 
holding a machine gun about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Oh, yes. What do you talk to me about Conan O'Brien? What, what are your thoughts on Mr. Conan? We're best pals. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting interpretation Ooh. of that. I wish uh, people hold a grudge. Anybody got a favorite quote from the film? I'll stir fry your face. Help you. You know, I ought to stir fry your face. Donald, you got a favorite quote from the film? Can I buy you another saltine? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Which Doug. character? Doug. Huh? Doug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who played Doug? <laughs> what was the name of the actor? Was it the lawnmower guy? Because you haven't cut him into here. He yeah. hasn't seen the film. Uh, I'll deep fry his ass. Deep fry his ass. I like deep fry deep his fry ass. Deep fry his ass? Yeah, deep fry his ass. his ass. Maybe I'll do something stupid. Run a red light, spit out the window, and I can fry his ass. Fry his ass? Very severe punishment for just spit out the window. Yeah, well, you're in America now, pal. I want a drinking game. Every time a cop suggests infringing someone's civil liberties, take a drink. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, it involves a lot of drinking. You don't need a warrant if you have probable cause. Probable cause. You don't smell like gas? Mm-hmm. Come on, you don't hear the baby crying in there? Lawyer I got makes ACLU look like Nazis. He lives for cop misconduct like this. And I ain't telling you shit. Favorite quote? We got all our favorite quotes? Uh, you make me feel like a turd that's been sewn to the bottom of a trash can lid. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good quote. I like yeah. that. Scully, we got a surprise for him. I think he has a surprise for us. Stir fry your face, did we? Though. Drink every time Jay Leno whips out a seven foot long flashlight. <laughs> Drink every time you see uh, the camera reflected in Tom Noonan's bald head. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm surprised you're not referencing how Jay Leno acts. What? Let's talk about it. Jay, yeah. J Jay, how did you act in the film? It's you. exactly like Mark Wahlberg. So it starts with uh, a hate crime. I don't think no. Jay Leno looks as good in underwear. You don't know about Mark Wahlberg's uh, hate crimes? Uh, no. And also did a lot of underwear modeling. Oh, yeah. Then well, I don't think Jay Leno could pull off. Feel it. Feel it. I'm talking strictly feel it. acting Feel it. Movies. You know that? You know, feel it? It's all the you same. You don't know Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? Uh, no. Where did you get your music it, degree, Donald? It. You didn't study Marky Mark and the Funky Rutgers. Bunch. Okay, hard hitting. Let's talk taxi. Mark Wahlberg. Uh -huh. He blinded Finally, a career. Finally, my a, movie. No, I hate Maybe crime. I'll get some residuals. He acts, he acts <laughs> like Jay Leno. Like mushrooms. Feed him shit and keep him in the dark. Yeah. Anybody? You know what I'm talking about? Taxi. Let's talk about taxi. Oh, man. Oh, man. And you can't die from night to night, can you? Ah, I hate you, man. What's that? I hate your freaking gut. <laughs> Famously, Queen Latifah also had her own talk show. True. Not a fan. Don't nobody touch my fluffy. That's all you got? You don't just push me. Oh, yeah? How about that? Oh. How about oh. <laughs> All talk show hosts, which makes me wonder, did we miss out on the Pat Morita show? <laughs> Crashing their airplanes into people's houses, that was a dread. <laughs> I would never do that. I bruise. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I hate to see is a black and blue little nipper. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Well, that's very racist. Let's clip that, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to clip. <clears throat> You're going to get looped. We will shotgun a surge right up our pee holes right now. <laughs> what? what is that? Ba Oh, I'll stir fry your face. Banzai! But I saw I saw a movie about a, a giant moth that invades New York City and <laughs> eats up the garment district. <laughs> Is it a good idea to cast a lesbian as the straight man? <laughs> you can play it any way you want. Jimmy Fallon, you have your own Ben and Jerry's. Hand that over there. Tell me about this. What's going on there? It's so melted. <laughs> Tell me about getting your own Ben and Jerry's. You got, it's called the Tonight Dough. 
delicious. The best thing about getting a Ben and Jerry's flavor is they send you a box of pure vanilla that you can just stick your dick in. <laughs> it's so great. You got Merkley with that one. You got me to laugh. Congratulations. You're welcome. First time all night. Uh, Jay Leno, what's what's your uh, Ben and Jerry's flavor? Ice cream dipped, dicked. Dipped it. <laughs> dip, dip. What is it? Dip dick. <laughs> dick dip. Dick dip. Dip dip. dip, dip. dip, 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 dip. What flavor is the ice cream? Dip dip. I mean vanilla. <laughs> You're getting a vanilla. <laughs> vanilla Jerry's Jay's vanilla. Jay's vanilla, vanilla ice cream. And then I just add my own vanilla on top. Oh my god. Just, What's it called? What's the name just of it? Vanilla on vanilla. Vanilla and vanilla. Yeah. Millie vanilla. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. Just call it late night vanilla. Late night vanilla. That's what the ladies want. <laughs> Every lady screams up a. Well, if they were to ever ask one. Average size Berkeley. white dick. <laughs> coming at them at two in the morning. What's your name? <laughs> Just an average size white dick at two in the morning. Yeah. If they were to ever ask Mer yes. Merkley Fufkin what my flavor would be, a stiff Merkin. It's got some scotch in it. <laughs> Little chocolate pieces in the shapes of clitorises. <laughs> and, little, we, little. and we call it clitter ice cream. <laughs> you like that? Would you buy that clitter ice no. cream? No. No? Oh. It's also got spermicidal caramel sauce. Also, I don't think you can sell that at any gas station. And then a vibrator in the bottom. Spermicidal caramel, a vibrator in the bottom, is called clitter ice cream. It's like a 19th century doctor trying to cure your hysteria. And no. a little Merkley Fufkin ice cream? No. What is God it like damn it, Donnie. <laughs> You're supposed to back me up on this. I, I read the credits on your film there, Jimmy. Luke Besson wrote, oh. wrote the first draft oh, of this sure. taxi film. Fun, this is, I'm not making this up. That's insane. You know Luke Besson? Fifth Element? What's the, 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 fifth element? the statutory rapey one? Can't oh, name it. the professional. The per, Leon the professional. Yeah, Leon the Jared professional. Is. I want to know what the fuck is different from the first draft. Shit. He's going to drink some of this tonight, though. Thick. What was the Luc Besson version? Uh, coherently spliced together. Not a stupid, goofy, weird movie with Jimmy Fallon in it? Yeah. 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 It could only Is be... it a gritty Taxi Driver reboot? Like, what are we talking? The action scenes in the final product are poorly edited. Poorly stitched together. They tend to run <laughs> on for a long time where you're just like... How are these people He's driving? driving you home? <laughs> He's driving you home. This is a fun fact. Luke Besson, who did he picture in the two the two main roles? Not these two. So we've got a, a gritty taxi driver reboot, right? So instead of Robert De Niro, Vincent Gallo. Thoughts? Oh, Look at thoughts. Nobody cast yeah. Vincent Gallo in anything. He, he casts himself else. in Chloe Savini's mm, mouth. Mm, he casts Brown himself buddy. in that one. Yeah, that's very mm. convenient. Now, he's the cop, and then he dragoons a sleazy uh, taxi driver into driving him around because he lost his license, right? Yeah. And that is Danny McBride in mm. a serious turn. The serious Danny McBride. Danny McBride can't do serious. No, he's got range. Danny McBride's got Carmen range. Electra involved some no one let, no one lets him. He can he, do it. He's in Mighty Ducks, right? That's right. Yep. Moving on. Wait, what? <laughs> that what? Jimmy Fallon, Back you're that a, up. you're a. Back that up. <laughs> Danny McBride was in Mighty Ducks. What? What? I think uh, you're drunk all the time. Is that right? I read the news lately. You're drunk all the time. I can only news. think of so many things that would explain my poor acting quality in these scenes, and that might be one of them. Is Jimmy Fallon just giggly when he's drunk, and that's why he breaks in every scene and every yeah. Saturday, night, Saturday Night Live sketch? The group gets separated. Where's the rendezvous point? Oh! Don't blow this force, Gene! Could be, could be so selfish, Gene. I'm staring here, staring at rock legend Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do scripted shit. So it's the director's fault. No scene works. I had one scene. What scene did you like? One of the early ones. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that one. That one was 
one is all right. Queen Latifah's got like a cartoon mm. car, very CGI'd. It's like Inspector Gadget's the car. The first Transformer ever. Yeah, no. 2004. That, that's not true. There's <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I need to get to JFK in 15 minutes. 100 bucks, I make it. Done. Here's my question. What's the target audience for this film? I don't They're into know. cartoon cars, but Giselle Boonchin. What do we, like 14 year old boys? Yeah, like 18, it's like 18. teenagers. People who are fully masturbating yet still humping. Real dry, masturbators dry, don't dry watch terrible movies. Wet, getting wet, yeah. wet. I like that. <laughs> Guys who dry hump couches. <laughs> I'm all aboard that. <laughs> You're on a couch. Uh, Jimmy Fallon, you play a Cuban man at one point. Okay, man? No. You don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, man? I don't like it. Read my lips. I smell something. What do I smell, huh? Huh? What do I smell? Carnitas? Amigo? Pig? Huh? Okay, man? Don't, don't do this. Don't okay? Do this. <clears throat> I wrote down, fighting over gun slash badge. He seems actually drunk. Oh, I, I believe me as Jacob said that out loud. And then I wrote it down. Yeah. And then and said it later. I, I mean. Okay. Thank you, Donnie. Okay. Give me that. Give it. Hand it over, Cabby. Man, we Nice and easy. It. All right, man. Damn, be cool. Be cool. I had to flip and pull this out of my ankle holster. I noticed on your uniform, Jimmy Fallon, your cop uniform, you had a little ribbon that said WTC on oh, it. Yeah. We had a nice little 9-11 reference. Oh, I Cut missed to 9-11 music. You got any 9-11 music? Never forget. I'm not afraid to live outside the law. <laughs> what do you got to do to get a 9-11 ribbon? You know, did you have to like pull people out of the rubble? This is what this film made me think about. You gotta it's show a thinker. Up. It's a thinker, this film. You got to show uh, up for your it? fellow cop. Talking about Daewoo. I'm gonna piss my Go pants. Go fucking piss your pants in a different room. <laughs> Both films, we're, we're making fun of foreign cars. Open the door, I wanna get Daewoo on my hands. And here we go. Oh, Do you remember the ball of yarn bit? Men are like cats, you know? Sure, we'll play with the ball of yarn. Unless you want us to play with the ball of yarn. Trick is, hide the ball of yarn. <laughs> hey, what's the ball of yarn doing in the fridge? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? You have to keep them interested by Hiding the ball. I got a drinking game idea. Do you, you know what it is? We're gonna include balls? Yeah, no. I, I have balls. It, it involves cocks. <laughs> Drake, every time Jimmy Fallon cocks his gun, loads his gun, changes guns, does, a, does yeah, something yeah. with a gun, drink every time. That, that motherfucker reloads a gun a lot. He's that, really worried about his gun. That motherfucker being you. Yeah, because you're Jimmy it. Fallon. Yeah, or I do, I do Jim, forget. Jim, 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 I have Jim an out-of-person body, uh, <laughs> uh, you know. Whoa, yo, man, be careful with that. Careful, little suppressor fire down for my pistol. Hit. Oh, it's a dead end. Ain't going nowhere. All right, let's do this thing, baby. Oh, Don't get my fur on. What's up to me? Take your badge, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two of the writers on the film are Reno 911 people, including Whoa. Thomas Lennon, Mr. Dangle, yeah. Lieutenant. Did not know. Yeah, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dangle. Lieutenant yeah. Dangle. And then another guy who's just like a writer-producer on that Reno 911. I thought this film was like an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine before they made it funny. Yeah. Is it a Reno 911 episode before they made it funny? Yeah, they were working out the kinks. You know, oh, were, were the kinks involved? Did they invite the kinks? All day, all night, and some other times. We're going to tingle. Y'all have tinkled like twice each. Okay. I, I haven't moved. I just got liquid in my dick. 
I worked up fucking actual fucking job. What do you call your dick liquid? Uh, uh pinkish. I'm wearing Depends half the week. <laughs> Which half? All right, Jimmy Fallon. I got a clip here. Hey, this is a Jimmy George Fallon Rice, clip. Tenth Armor. Oh, I'm so glad you, you got any more mortar rounds, sir? We're real short. Uh, I'll try to make another ammo run if I can, but uh, don't count on anything. Looks like you guys are going to be surrounded. Prepare, Mr. Lieutenant. We're supposed to be surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jimmy Fallon and Band of Brothers. The worst part of the whole series, I thought. What? What is that from? What's the worst? It's Band of Brothers. Really? You, you ever watch Band of Brothers? You never seen Band of Brothers? Mm. You gotta fucking watch Band of Brothers. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stop movies. everything. Watch Band of Brothers right now. Fun fact. Mm. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, the whole film reminded me of just like three different Grand Theft Auto missions in a row. Like, oh, follow that car, CJ. You know, something like that. I mean, I fell asleep three times. Three times. Come on, let's go. Yes. Taxi está de volta. Traz nós. Olha aí. Pull over! Police, pull over the car! Pull over right now! What? My badge! And I hate Queen Khalifa. What? Queen Khalifa? <laughs> <laughs> Queen Khalifa? You hate, that, that's you not, hate that's a not, That's not Jay Leno speaking. Jimmy Fallon, at mm. the end of the film, we go to a NASCAR track, and you're wearing, I believe, a chest merkin. Care to comment? It's very curly. Hey! hey. Oh my gosh, you're great! That's so cool! What do you think, huh? It's our latest undercover what? assignment. Ah. Russian Mafia. With Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon's there, it's pretty terrible. What track are they at? It says P-I-R. Portland <laughs> International Raceway in Portland, Oregon. Why the fuck is Jimmy Fallon, NYPD cop, in Portland, Oregon? What the fuck's happening? <laughs> he spent a lot of money on that Merkin. Crazy and stupid's my style. All right, let's do this thing. All right, let's do it. You got a favorite quote from the film Taxi? Hey, can I have a lemonade? <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> I can't think of a single one. Can you think of any <laughs> words that were said in the film? No. No. <laughs> All right. No offense shut, to me. But shut the fuck up. Drink a game. No. Drink a game for taxi. Drink every oh, time no. you see a cartoon CGI car effect. Oh, it's any time they're driving backwards. Oh. Any driving backwards? They trap them in like an alley, which by the way, New York City doesn't have any fucking alleys. No. Anyone, every goddamn movie and TV show, they're like, oh, we found a body in an alley. You know what New York City famously doesn't have? Alleys, because there's trash on the sidewalk all the time because they don't have alleys. <laughs> Yet every movie, they're like, well, there's an alley here. It's like, no, there's not. You maybe, guys ever been to New York City? Maybe it was my city. Anyway, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that had to have been a Do you remember uh, Idiot Boyfriend? No. You don't remember Idiot Boyfriend? I just played this for you. Do you Is remember Idiot Boyfriend? Is that a sketch? No, it's from his, his album. It was a music oh. video. Oh. I had See, to watch. I know what you want. I've never been a Fallon fan. And I know what you need. But I'm gonna screw it up. My favorite scene was I'm when. I'm an idiot and I'm a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I do. He's doing it. That. He's doing that's, the whole thing. That's like 98% accurate, right? Yeah. Now. That's Dang. pretty close. Your falsetto is pretty spot on. And I know what you want. I mean, early, earlier. That's. No, you're fired. <laughs> earlier, I said one of my favorite scenes was an earlier one. Yeah. And it was when he was a Russian. The Russian one? Or Cuban. The Cuban one. He yeah. was a he was in brown face. You mean you He like, wasn't in brown face. No, he should have been. Isn't yeah. brown face. All right. Pitch for me a sequel. To taxi. They burn in hell. To yeah. To uh, taxi. <laughs> She's a NASCAR driver now. <laughs> and he's in the FBI. So are we getting rid of Queen Latifah? Obviously. What's going on? What's the sequel? I, I mean, there's no crime. You gotta, you got to bring her back for the sequel. No, no. Maybe I, it's uh, it's like a pay her, death. Pay her to not come back. What, when do you need somebody who just drives in left-hand circles? Maybe it's like post-apocalyptic. When the terrorists are planting a bomb in a NASCAR. There you go. And we're talking about a double sequel. It's I a sequel did. To, shut the fuck up. It's a sequel to Taxi. <laughs> Taxi Nights. 
sudden death, the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. We bring in Jean-Claude, we get a bomb in a NASCAR. A NASCAR. Put those all together. What? No, I was going Talladega, Taxi Nights. Talladega, Taxi Nights. Boogie Nights, Taxi Nights. We're bringing in Name Sasha Baron Cohen and Jean-Claude Van Damme. And we're getting rid of Jimmy Fallon and Queen Latifah. I'm already falling asleep. I'm already falling asleep. He's falling asleep. They don't get away. You're falling asleep to a Sasha Baron Cohen, Jean-Claude Van Damme collaboration? I feel like it'd be more like a post-apocalyptic, they're more like mole men taxi drivers <laughs> than anything. Yeah, you gotta take it in a new oh, direction. Yeah. It's not Come just about Donald, <laughs> your ideas. That sounds good. This is why we keep you around. It's, it's not, not just about good. racing. Good it's about racing for your life. Your yeah. film. There you go. Yeah. Jay Leno, your film ended a lot like Sudden Death with Jean-Claude Van Damme. We ended up in a real race. know what makes a great buddy cop film what are the key ingredients what's the flour what's the gluten that ties it all together and sends your intestines into knots both of them have to have some sort of comedic input they gotta be funny neighbors here are on call police you know in america when people turn alarm they just yell turn that shit off turn that shit off hey turn that shit off both of them do is Danny Glover funny in Lethal Weapon? Yeah. Yeah, he's a family man. Yeah, when he says, I'm too old for this shit, like, that's a comedic delivery. What about a lesbian for the straight man? Yeah, that worked. It worked in your film. Didn't work for me. Okay. Pat Reed is a horrible They lesbian. have to be so different. Because <laughs> op is this a trick. Jay Leno, do you remember the your boss in the film? Oh, yes. Large man. Large Large man. He's a large man. No other, no other attributes. Mm -hmm. He's a large. And in the meantime, I am the poor son of a bitch that's got to buy my mother another TV set. Black man. Oh. Yeah. Didn't notice. And uh, he's also in Cop Rock. Oh, the TV show? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. That's a deep no. cut right there. Yeah. I haven't seen Cop Rock since I was in high school. You saw it in high school. Yes, I watched it on Trio. Oh my what god. Trio? Trio was an old Canadian TV show. <laughs> it was an old Canadian TV channel. I watched it on Green You had channel. old Canadian TV channels in Poplar Bluff, Missouri? Trio was a satellite channel, but one of the things they showed was brilliant but canceled. And uh, one of the shows that was brilliant what? but canceled was Cop mm. Rock. Uh, uh, Trio was... Anyway. No fucking best. I cannot wait to watch Cop Rock again. I'm so excited to see Cop Rock. Anyway, I, uh, my neighbor had satellite, and this was early enough that when you watch the satellite feed of like the news, yeah, they'd go to commercial, but the camera would stay on. Yes. On like the anchors. <laughs> They're like, all right, and now we go to commercial. Uh, that was fucking terrible. I'm gonna start lighting up cigarettes. Uh, that was fucking news, man. You see this Israel shit? All right, yeah. turn that whole place into sand, you know? All right, yeah. Just blast it over. All right, cop rock. You guys ready for some cop rock? I am so excited for cop rock. Could I stay in business doing what I do if people got in trouble? You want a baby? More than anything. Can you help us? As a matter of fact, something's just come my way. And how much is this going to cost us? $11,000. When you're shopping for a dream come true, a little package in a pink or blue, the city gives you such a run around. Those pencil pushes only put you down. I'm the baby merchant. Tots are us. I give you all the service and no Give the baby merchant just a week or two. I'll have your baby for you. Every episode has multiple songs. So here's my question. It's so layered. It's so deep. I have a question. Yeah. How much would you pay for a baby? <laughs> and you have a baby. What would it take to buy your baby? <laughs> no. $11,000 in 1992 money. Is 20 
bucks. 20, 20, 20 <laughs> bucks. We've had a lot of deflation. A whole lot. We've had 10, yeah, the market's been inflation. real up and down. Uh, what would it cost to buy your baby? It's a real up and down market. Give me a price. No price. What's the baby's name? No price. Give me the name of the baby. <laughs> Tell me the name of your baby and how much you want. No. As someone who doesn't fucking want a baby, zero. Like, I, I, I would... Donald, can you, like, help me out? These fucking guests are terrible. Yeah, I would definitely pay 32000 32000 he would pay for a baby. If I could name her Petrol. Petrol. <laughs> Interesting. I like, I like that. That's a good answer. <laughs> How much is your baby? How old is my baby? How much no. <laughs> is your baby? I'm looking at it at I'll give you $10 million. Dollars. So you give me a baby for $10 million? Whoa. Hundred million? That's a pricey little baby. Fifty <laughs> billion yen. <laughs> yeah, no. In a pure resale market, you don't know what you're gonna get. A hundred billion Chinese yuan. That's not no. that much. Forty Bitcoin. Definitely no. Fourteen NFTs <laughs> of this puppy. And I want to give one to everyone in the audience. How about uh, 70 bottles of liquor from my liquor cabinet? No. That's a good, I've curated the selection. Hey, I think some of them are full. Jacob, what would you pay for a baby? Assuming you want a baby. So here's the thing, I don't Okay, want let's say one. you did. Let's say one. you want one. What if you was... What would you pay for a baby? That had special uh, powers. Like, it's got just, special powers. That's are you saying, yeah, I like saying that. if I wanted to adopt one, you're not so paying for mine? So it's like, I'm looking sure. at like dark phoenix level mutant powers Ooh, here. Because I man. feel like that's an option. Can you translate you that from nerd? I'm looking to buy an X-Men and I'm looking for S tier X-Men. Oh. Not C tier. No. Can I interest you in an X-Girl? No, I, I'm not. Who's called the Human Porch. No, I'm not <laughs> looking for Jubilee <laughs> level of <laughs> human powers. <laughs> what the fuck is Jubilee? Human porch. You think no. human what torch. What the fuck is human porch? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that and you go, oh, human torch. She can turn on fire. No, no, no. no. Human porch. She's made of wood. No, I'm looking I'm for S tier. If you have sex with her, you get a splinter <laughs> in your dick. Human porch. Yeah, I'm looking for a wraparound, sort of. Oh, interesting. He likes the wraparound. the wraparound. Yeah, I want the wraparound. I bet you, you do. Know. Jimmy found. All right, let's let's bring it in, guys. Let's bring it home. There, right. we can all wrap. Around this was together. a versus episode. I don't know if you know that. This is versus episode number ten. I don't remember what number we're on. Mm. Anybody? You're yeah. in like every one of them. I may or may not be. I don't know what episode number we're on. Donnie. No, versus no, episode number three. No, you play music. <laughs> <laughs> we're on versus episode number. That's not working. <laughs> That's the number. All right, thanks, Donnie. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. <laughs> Which movie was better? Mine, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the, the, collision Course? Collision, collision course. course. Collision Course, Donald. Which film did you like better, Collision Course or Taxi? Collision Course. Collision Course is the obvious winner. Collision Course is better. Is Jay Leno a better actor I mean, than that, Jimmy Fallon? I'm surprised it's I didn't piss off more people. In my opinion, the answer eats itself. The Uruburos of questions. <laughs> the snake eating itself. I will say, your delivery in the scene where you're concerned about your friend getting shot oh. was quite convincing. Shot? He's not even a cop anymore. Yeah, I know. An accident? No, he was at the junkyard. Um, uh, yeah, um, shot Yeah, all right. Costas, don't get involved. He was the one that him very dead. He used that kind of artillery on him. What kind is that? Gyrojet rocket gun. Want to see the other guy? Other guy? What other guy? The Jap. Can you call a Jap a John Doe? Would you just say goodbye in another language? Oh, sure. Adios, amigos. With all that said, we, we have reached the end of the Too Late Show with me, Merkley Fufkin. As always, we end with a dance battle. Oh, dance battle. Camera. Get the fuck up and battle me! And dance! I'm wearing women's pants. <laughs> I'm wearing men's pants. I put these on and Aaron's like,
like, those are my sweatpants. I was like, okay, first of all, these pants have four pockets. There's no way these are women's pants. I know when I masturbate, I think I'm a Japanese man. <laughs> you know the man now, dog. It's not exactly a soup question. He's got a hard life. Yeah, right? doing nothing and puking all the time. Getting bum fucked and puking. It's it's a all hard right. life. <clears throat>